Alright y'all, here is another Colors of Fall makeup tutorial. So, let's get started. First color we're going to actually do is our transition color, which will go right in between the crease horizontally as you see me moving. And the colors, the colors that we are working with today are gold, orange, and a cranberry oxy blood burgundy. The first color we're using is amber light. And this is by MAC and as you can see I am pat pat patting it in just to show how strong the pigmentation is and yes I am getting my jam on while I'm doing my makeup I am using the pat effect just to show the true color of the gold okay the next thing that you are about to see me do is I have fix plus that I just sprayed on the stiff eyeshadow brush and what you see me doing is doing a pat effect also with this orange color. Y'all, I'm sorry I don't know the color because it came out of a duo box that has tons of eyeshadow colors. However, I'm using this method and it's called foiling. And it actually makes the pigmentation that much more intense. Now I'm taking a cranberry color by MAC. And it's actually like a metallic oxy blood burgundy color very rich and intense and I'm doing the crease of my the corners of the crease of my eye yeah y'all see that mess I got going on right so now I'm going back in with that transition color to make sure that I have no lines of demarcation in my eyeshadows so the whole blending 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 is in effect and now I'm actually reapplying that orange color and I'm going back over with a blending brush just to blend all those colors together. Now I'm taking a Makeup Wipe by Equate and I am cleaning up the fallout that is under my eyes. And now I'm using that Studio Fix in color NC45 and it is the liquid formula. And I'm using the Real Techniques buffing brush. And I am buffing my foundation into my face, as you can see, once again, making the foundation one with my skin. Blending is the key, y'all. Blending is the key. Next, I am highlighting the T-zone of my face, which is my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin, all creating a triangular effect of and on the bottom now I'm using LA girl pro concealer in medium beige and I'm highlighting my eyes and this is the perfect concealer to highlight with nice and light lightweight now I'm using LA girls pro concealer in beautiful bronze to contour the hollows of my cheek round my forehead down the bridge of my nose and underneath the sides of my face contouring definitely gives your face a thinner look so definitely go for it if you are an artist and you can do it now I'm using an elf stipple brush to blend in my highlight and as you will see that I have a separate elf stipple brush that I also use to contour and blend in my contour to just have a seamless effect And I often sometimes, uh, particularly with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I tend to go back and wet my brush with uh, Fix Plus just to help it blend it a whole lot better because it dries pretty fast. taking my banana powder by NYX and I am using a MAC puff and I'm actually applying my banana powder to set my highlight underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, cupid's bow, and the chin and also the hollows of my cheek right up underneath. Just 
gives it that nice chiseled effect. You know what I'm saying? Okay, why I allow my highlight to set and bake, now I'm gonna go actually put on those lashes. Bam, there I go. Now I'm actually dusting off all of the excess powder and cleaning it up. Those lashes on fleek, ain't they y'all? Now I have my contour brush and I'm going back in and I'm just double tapping the areas where I actually contoured just to set those concealers as well. Now after setting them, now I'm just cleaning it up just to make sure that I have no lines. And now I have pulled out my mineralized skin finish mineralized powder in dark by MAC and now I am actually setting my entire face. As you can see I do a lot of patting motions and then I go back through and I do circular motions just buffing it into the skin. Now I'm actually using this color by MAC. It is a blush and the color is called Format. You actually can contour with the color Format too. Um, just depending during the summer and fall like it gives you a very nice glow because it does have a nice iridescent um, color to it, shimmer. Now I'm actually taking the color Night Moth and I am lining my lips. Getting ready to apply the color Diva. Both items are by MAC. Y'all don't talk about my little lips because I know they little. At least I know. And I try my damn just to make them look a little bit more fuller. But Stephanie ain't getting no Botox or no lip filler. So forget that, okay? Work with what God gave me. Mm-hmm. So now I'm using this color Diva. And I am going in. It is a really nice burgundy red color. And it's not red. It's not too burgundy. It's actually just right for the effect that I am trying to get. Now that those lips are set, I'm just going back through with my Rimmel mascara and just hitting the bottom, my bottom lashes just to get a little bit more definition because I didn't feel like putting on liner that day. And now I'm actually about to use this highlighter. I'm sorry y'all, I don't know the name of it because the name has rubbed off, but it is more of a golden hue. And I'm actually going to take that same highlighter and I'm going to wet the tip of my brush, my pencil brush, and I'm actually going to apply that highlighter in the tear ducts of my eyes, as you can see. And basically, it's just a lightening effect and just gives you off a really nice, mm, you see, pop. Now that the face is complete, bam! Hmm. This is what I'm working with y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, you can follow me on social media at IG at I am Eclectista. Thank you for watching.